The Catholic Archbishop of Kaduna State, Most Reverend Matthew Ndagosu, has taxed Nigerian political leaders, public office holders at all levels across the country to utilize the nation's natural resources for the common good of humanity and development of the nation. The Archbishop made the call at the investiture, investiture to confer papal honors to 19 Catholics Catholic faithfuls for their dedication, contributions, and service to humanity in Kaduna State. The cleric said Nigerians are poor because the resources meant for over 200 million citizens have been pocketed by individual politicians for personal and selfish interests, noting that economic hardship is hitting Nigerians hard. Um, Nigeria, has, as a country, has no business being poor. Nigerians have no business going to bed hungry given the resources God has blessed this country with. I mean, what don't we have? I mean, natural resources, the most, one of the most fertile soils, vast lands in the country. For how many years, for over 63 years, we've been, you know, drilling oil and uh, we've been making billions and trillions of, uh, I mean, there's no reason why, you know, what is absent is the common good. People do not put the common good, you know, where, when you are in an office, and you know, you don't just think of yourself. You think of what can I do with the resources of is it of the federation, or is it of the state, or is it of the local government? You know that are in your hands, in my hands, to be used for the common good. He lamented the high level of insecurity of public office holders, whose selfish interest has led to the nation or led the nation into an impoverished state, urging government to rise to its primary responsibility to ensure dividends of democracy to the citizenry. The former Minister of Environment, Honorable Laurentia Laraba, who was conferred Dame of St. Gregory the Great, says service to humanity should be the first priority while calling on individuals in and out of public service to continue to render assistance for the development of the nation. This doesn't operate in the vacuum. The church operates in society. As a matter of fact, the people that the church looks after are the same people that the government looks after, isn't it? So we, 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 you know, and so the challenge today for me and for any other church leader and any leader, what what do I, what the name is the fact that you are you are subject, you are you are congregation, they are going hungry. You see them going hungry and there's nothing you can do about it simply because our resources have not been put to proper use. That is why people are where they are. This is one of the biggest challenges that all the leaders of today uh, you know, are, are facing. Service to humanity, like I said, I was not doing what I did that uh, gave me this award for anybody to, to celebrate or to appreciate me. Right from the word go, since I was born, I started my life reaching out to those I can reach out to, to the poor and the... Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.